kind of a cold, blustery day today, so let's make some crock pot soup. Um, I have lentils. Let's try that. This morning the sun was shining and it was beautiful, and then suddenly it's as if the wind was trying to tear down my porch. Let's go look. Here's what it's doing now. Fog has started to roll in. It's windy. The air is pretty cold. Oh, there's my zigzag fence. I'll tell you more about that some other time. I but, wow. Meanwhile, here's our ingredients. We've got some lentils. I've got probably about a cup and a half to two cups of lentils here. Granulated, uh, not granulated, chopped dried garlic. You know, let's face it. I'm a lazy chef, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use dried stuff. I've got rainbow peppercorns, parsley, stewed tomatoes, tomato paste, bay leaves, also known as dragon scales. And I'm just going to combine all that with some water into my crock pot uh, and get it cooking. I almost forgot. We want to add some onion also. Uh, so I'm going to chop this baby up. I got a half a large onion. When you do this, you want to start with the lentils. So put the lentils in first. Um, you can use a colander if you want to because you actually want to rinse them before you add all your other ingredients and some water. We're just going to let the uh, loose ones float off the top along with any dirt that might be in there. They're pretty clean, pre-rinsed lentils. So I'm going to put the water about an inch, inch and a half above my lentils. And I'll give it a stir. That seems pretty good. During cooking, we're going to have to uh, make sure that I watch the water level. So I'll check it every hour or so. I'm going to let this start heating up. Well, I prepare the rest of the ingredients. There they are. Today's mouse report. Six mice. So we have our lentils and our water in our crock pot. We're going to add a can of tomato paste. Get all that in there good. I want to get this part in early on. You add the spices towards the end. I don't usually use amounts when I'm cooking. I estimate. I learned how to cook from my grandmother and uh, she didn't measure things. It made it really hard to learn initially, but now I can barely follow a recipe to save my life because I just have a better sense of how it'll be so that I like it better. I cook to taste, and even more than that, I actually cook to smell, because I sort of have a super sniffer. I don't have to taste usually while I'm cooking. I smell a spice, I imagine the flavor I'm looking for, and whether that fits into it or not. So we're going to add some tomato paste. This looks awful, by the way, because it's cold. It has to heat up. Let's turn it on high, because I only have about four hours for it to cook today instead of eight. Crock pots are great. I used to only make soup in a crock pot. Here's our stewed tomatoes. I like the ones that have some spices and stuff in them. I usually get Italian or something like that. So those lentils are going to expand and absorb this tomato water. I'm going to add some chopped garlic. That was about, I'm going to add about a handful. That's probably about a third to a quarter to a third of a cup, maybe a little less. I like garlic. You could use less. I like dried parsley. I'm going to add some of that. This stuff has to expand and it's going to soak up the water. I was going to use my rainbow pepper, but my pepper grinder is broken, 
So I'm going to have to resort to good old boxed ground pepper. Not my favorite. Got to be careful not to get too much. Here's a little secret not everybody knows. When making a soup from scratch, you need to add oil. So I would add a couple tablespoons of oil to this baby and it's going to be way tastier much more succulent and savory. Stir all that in. Chop up some onions. Saute them or not, your choice. And uh, let it cook on for a few hours. I would check it every hour. Make sure it doesn't need more water. Secret ingredients include a couple tablespoons of oil, olive oil, avocado oil, something like that, and a couple of bay leaves. You want to put the bay leaves in early because they impart their flavor to the legumes. You cannot add all the amazing good stuff in the world, but what makes it work, the part that's magic, is time. No, not the spice. Time. Time sets all things right. Bon appetit! This is a game called Untitled Goose Game. It is like Game of the Year for 2019, and you're a goose. And you have a list of things to do. Kevin, show the list. And when you do them, it crosses them off. And uh, go ahead and go back. And you have to figure out how to do them. So you, as the goose, you move things around to confound the farmer caretaker. There's a cat helping play the goose game. And <laughs> Galileo, get down! You're not helping, boys. <laughs> The goose runs around, he can pick things up, he can swim, he moves things, he hides things from the farmer. There's a, you can just, there you go, you found the secret hole in the shrub. Anyway, okay, it's been cooking um, about an hour, maybe a little longer. Look how thick that is. So I'm going to add some water. Because those lentils are still going to expand and they've got to have something to soak up for them to do that. I opted not to cook the onions. There we go. Homemade lentil soup countdown! <laughs> <laughs>